Hey there, everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. Last time we made our way about two thirds of the way up the Crimson Tower, as well as blaming Johnson for a self destructing airship. If you missed it, you should probably go check it out. But this time, I know I said the last time was finally the time, but I mean that this time we are going to get the big paint star here once and for all. It's been way too long and oh, I should not jump to these enemies. Okay, that said, I am actually still gonna fight one of them because I believe something special happens. Come on, come on! Yes, we have a brand new enemy to kick things off with a bang. So why don't I kick it off with my own bang? By oh wait, I can't use a line jump. Um, dang. Um, shoot, that combination's pretty tough to deal with. So the shield guys, you can't use hammers on, much like the spike guys. Although I don't think they hurt you when you do it. So, ho hold on. One hammer, and then one line jump. The hammer will probably do enough damage to kill the jumpy... Why did I use a hammer? I just said they're immune! They are not immune! Never mind, but... Hmm... I'm very backwards today. Okay. For realsies this time. KO Hammer should still do a fair bit to the spike guy. And then I think I'll just do a standard triple on out jump. Let's go. Properly this time. Yes. Okay, plan it well. I'm not gonna jump on you often. I think I need to jump on you a little. That's why I brought a third jump. Didn't see that coming, did you, shy guy? Slurp guy, whatever you're called. Drop card door? Ugh, dang. I mean, not that it matters too much because of the reasons and... Anyway, I don't think I need to fight that shy guy down there. It's probably just more shield guys. And I'd rather not fight them if I can help it run me! I can do it. I can. Uh, I've stopped moving. Well, I painted half a. Pa Look at that color on the wall. Oh, those shy guys can move. Well, four against one's unfair, so let's bump him off. Okay, in terms of running speed, four against one is unfair. But in terms of battles, well, these shy guys better be ready. Because I'm going to make them face the pain with an ice fire flower. Bang! Bang! I guess that's just great, but excellent! What? No! Wait, I can still get my perfect bonus. This is what happens when I suck at video games. Well, that's okay, because I have a pathetic little worn-out jump just for you, pathetic little worn-out shy guy. There we go. Perfect bonus, because the shy guy slipped up and didn't damage. Oh yeah. Very nice. Looks like we're getting close to a hammer upgrade too. Maybe we're gonna reach 250, or whatever number it is, even though I might have already hit that on my other file where I didn't... Well, I may or may not have failed in recording. But this block here gives us a big hammer. We've had a big jump clinging to our pockets for most of the game. But then we put it in the museum and that's probably what's going to happen with this hammer too. Anyway though... Ah! 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 Uh, hello gentle sir, we overheard that you're looking for the big paint star. We are too. May I ask who you might be? Perhaps we could search together for the big paint star together. I said together one too many times. Hello! Um, yes, hello. I'm Huey, and this is Mario. 
Yes, that Mario. Big large paint star. Yes, we're looking for a big paint star. Have you seen one? Me, Morton. Uh, nice to meet you, Morton. Look, we really need that big paint star. You know, I don't think we're really getting anywhere here. Mario? Mario! No paint star for the Mario. What? He broke the floor! Something tells me he's heard of you before. This Morphon guy is going to be trouble. Let's tread carefully. Unfortunately, Mario does not know how to speak in paint can. But moving on ahead, as this is your first boss battle, I highly recommend you save right here. I'm not going to do so because that's how I messed up in my last recording. But in case you're wondering on... I shouldn't do that. About how to move on. A quick, nice little cutout should solve the trick. So let's just zippy zap along here. I'm not sure why I'm saying zippy zap, because that has nothing to do with a pair of scissors. Although it can make you tingle sometimes. Anyway, jump up, jump up there, grab our flag, and magical teleporting skills in alternate dimensions. Well, this is it, guys. I hope you are all prepared. I have 30 health points, which means I am not ready for this coming up. Morton find paint star. Look, it's a red big paint star. But there's something wrong with it. We need to help it quick. Bad Mario find paint star. But Morton find it more. More Mortons. More tons. Morton crush Mario. Morton strong. Morton more tons. Bring me pedal stool. Morton on pedestal. Look now, Morton safe here. That is right, while well, Morton is up on his pedestal, there is absolutely zip zap de boop that we can do about it. So let's take him down from there using a few of our hammers, as I'm sure they'll do the trick even if he's in his spark show after we knock it away. But might I just say, that didn't kill you? No. This music is pretty darn cool. No, no, let me move. Oh, I'm going so bad. I didn't expect to do this so soon, but I already need to use a mushroom. Anyway, though, no shy guys in the way. Let's use a hammer to knock him down and begin the real boss fight. Obviously, this is Morton's gimmick. It's a very simple one. It's our first boss fight. But knock that away. It doesn't... I need to work on my grades with the hammers. High place broke. Low place scary. Anyway, look out for this. Actually blocked it. This soundtrack that is playing right now is known as... Me will rock you! And might I just say, I need to get a mushroom in the battle spin because I am gonna be screwed if I don't. Oh, it's a whole loop away. No! Oh, come on! And then I... First I go a loop where it does nothing and then I get the wrong... You know what? Punishment. I'm gonna use one of my strong cards because I just got another one. I'm gonna use a big hammer card. Not just a big hammer card. It's about time. But I'm using up my red paint and using a blaze hammer, what I consider one of the strongest early game cards in the game. But look at the damage that did. Or should I say, <gasps> yes! 
Now, it might not be apparent why blaze hammers are good because I used it in a pretty bad situation. Bring me- oh, really? Again? But, the blaze hammers tend to hit every enemy on screen. Not just four enemies like the fire flowers. Every single enemy. I need to do another battle spin to get a mushroom because I really need a mushroom coming up. I am desperate. I'm gonna wait a bit longer so it's closer in the loop and I'm gonna get it this time. Gonna get it now. I got it guys. All good. Now I can show off everything in this fight. I don't need to heal yet, but I want to show off two things. One, we have a replica card that we didn't have before, and I kind of just want to show it off. I know I showed it at the end of the last episode, but it's 11, and look at, look at the background. I mean, look at that. That's awesome. I don't know what to do, so I'm going to just... By touching the touch screen this time, for no reason. But something special about these boss fights. It ran away, that's right. Almost every single enemy card will refuse to fight in these boss fights. It is also worth noting, first time I got hit by that shockwave. First of all, I've never been hit by that shockwave before and I didn't know you could guess stunned, or should I say crumpled. Basically, your turn is taken up, but you can also crumple enemies, depending on the attacks that you do. You don't need to use a KO hammer on that, by the way, but it looks the most appropriate. But if you manage to successfully block an attack, having the damage, might I add, you will always be safe from crumple. Morton is fired! Okay, this is the moment you've been waiting for guys. It's why I needed a mushroom so badly because I'm gonna heal and use a very special card. That card is a jump card. Now, what I would prefer to use is actually a replica fire extinguisher simply because the fire extinguisher is what we're using to block this hot mallet. And that is why we need to do something quickly about this and why I got my second mushroom. This kind of gives you a saving grace in this regard. Use the fire extinguisher. Replica cards don't work. They are too puny, as Morton would say. And I think I can show that clip off quickly, or just what he says in the corner of the screen. But timing the fire extinguisher the moment that yellow pin is gone. Oh, so close. Got it great though, that's pretty good. And the <laughs> fire broken, mallet gone, just stick. Eat stick. Okay, just gonna throw this in there. If I did not block that and I didn't use my mushroom, I would have died to his stick. Don't let that happen to you, I'm just showing off how much you need to use those attacks. Now, usually I'm not used to him being that low on health because I never get anything better than a nice on the fire extinguisher. So I think we'll finish this off with the classic Mario Jump. Beating the coins out of him. But with a tough battle that was way too close. Morton. Morton loops. Bad Mario get pain star. Master order Morton. Say go get pain star. Morton. More like. Less ton. Master? 
Someone ordered Morton to get the big paint star? So someone else is trying to get the big paint stars too? But at least we found the red big paint star. Looks like it's fainted from being so dried out. Okay, Mo, jump into it and wake it up. In just a moment, Huey, because over here I spy out of the corner of my eye. A nice looking cat thing that we can squeeze. <laughs> You got cat, oh luck, a feline statue that purrs with good luck vibes, enshrined at the top of a dark red tower. This is one of the very few think cards that straight up isn't required. You do not need it for anything, so go ahead, put it in a museum and never see it again, or you know, use it in battle. Seriously, use that one in battle. But let's not forget this little guy here. Huh? Mr. Catalog is gone, but Mario is here. Oh, I guess it. Catalog sent Mario to save poor Prisma. Yeah, boy. I knew it was worth making the trek to, from poor Prisma to wish on the cat. He has no idea that he was crushed by it all along. Anyway, it is time, guys. Let's finish this off. Yeah! Finally, the red big paint star is back in its rightful place and only 13 episodes into the series. It's all thanks to you, Mario. I don't know what we'd do without you. Thank you. Both. Wait, did the paint star just say something? That's never happened before. No, that's not possible. Maybe it's more like we can somehow hear its voice inside our minds? That is correct, Huey. I'm using the power of paint to colour your thoughts. Thank you for both saving me, but there's work to do yet. As you can see, the other big paint stars are still missing. If it will help, I can share my memory of what happened here with you. But be warned. It is not pleasant. Please, close your eyes. Oh, that was awful! I've never seen such wanton disregard for paint! At least we got to see what happened to the other paint stars. That horrible monster just flung them to the corners of the island without a second thought. Yes, we have been scattered far and wide, preventing us from supplying the fountain and our world with life-giving paint. But there is hope. Mario, Huey, 
If you can find the remaining five big paint stars, the fountain can be restored. Good luck, and let the paint be your guide. We're on it, Red! Prisma Fountain must be restored! Everyone should be able to see the joy and beauty it brings to our town! Guys! We just got one of the big paint stars back! We need to celebrate! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Dance party! HP up! Whoa, looks like Fred just powered you up, Mario. Of course, what we could really use is a detailed map, showing us exactly where the, that monster threw our paint starts. But this will have to do for now. I just hope we have enough power to defeat that thing. Whoa, feast your eyes! I have harnessed the power of the black paint. Nothing can stop me now. Soon I will share the dark gift of black paint with the entire world. Gwah! Later, chumps. Princess Peach has been kidnapped by Bowser! No one could have predicted this! I know this is highly unusual, but can you help rescue her? Hold on Mario, we need a plan! We don't even know where that airship is going yet! Plus, I mean, did he get a good look at that bad guy? He flung those paint stars like they were nothing! Whoa, what's that? This is a hollow peach. You know, a self-delivering postcard shaped like Princess Peach. Obviously. She must have been able to get one quick message out just as she was being kidnapped. How cool! It's a hologram in full 2D. It's so flat, it's like she's actually standing here. Mario, I've been kidnapped by Bowser. And he seems different somehow. I mean, besides all of the black paint, obviously. Anyway, it doesn't seem he intends to harm me, but I'd still appreciate it if you could rescue me ASAP. I'm not quite sure where this airship is headed yet, but I'll send you another hollow peach once I find out. Peach. Well, at least she, we, bleh, we know she's okay, for now. I've got an idea. Remember how the red big paint star said to let the paint be our guide? Well, I bet if we can recover all of the big paint stars, they'll point the way to Princess Peach. I know it's kind of crazy, but it's all we've got. Come on, Mario. We've got a lot of work to do. There we go, guys. It's finally happened we've got our first big red paint star or only big red paint star we've got our first big paint star and finally got a villain for this whole darn game who would have known the peach would get kidnapped by bowser again i know right anyway though next time i think a good thing to do much like the toads have their dance party we're going to settle down in Port Prisma and go explore some of the little details around the world, including, at long last, a Rochambeau temple. So with that, guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time, everybody. Bye-bye.